Hello and welcome to the 40th tutorial in the C++ programming series and in this part we're going to be looking at pointers. A pointer is just a variable whose value is the address of another variable so sort of like references it points to another variable so you can make changes to another variable via a, a different variable name so you can pass this into function then you can affect the original value. Like any variable or constant you must actually declare a pointer before you can use it plus also you need to use the new keyword to dynamically allocate memory on like referencing which sorts anything out like that itself. So let's just go ahead and open up our project and show you how pointers actually work. Pointers is something you're definitely going to want to get your head around. It is quite difficult to fully understand it but it's really powerful and you'll be using it a lot most likely. So I was going to create a variable and to do a pointer you do you use asterisk then the name of your, your variable which in this case we'll put i then you do equals new the new keyword allocates memory and then you put well the type of data it is so int open close bracket semicolon and then to assign a value to it you don't do i equals whatever you do asterisk i because that gets the actual value or where the value is stored whereas i is just the memory address do equals and then assign the value 10 and to print it out it's the same as well you do asterisk i not i c out asterisk i and line now run this you get a value of 10. so let's just show you what happens if we take off the asterisk run it we just basically get a memory address um, maybe you do want to mess around or work with the memory address but again this is this is a very advanced topic and you should be aware of how it fully works before trying to mess around with the memory address. But let's just create another variable. This time it will just be a regular variable so I'm going to assign the value 20 to it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do i so the memory address of i points to you. Uh, we need to rename the to u. Now if we run this, we get the value 20 because it's pointing to you. And if we make any changes to i, so you know we'll do it after. If we do asterisk i equal 40, and then if we were to print out u it is the value 40 because when i doesn't have its own value it points to a no other variable in this instance you might think what's the main difference between a reference and a pointer reference is what we covered in the previous part of the series well you cannot have no references you must always be able to assume that a reference is connected to basically legitimate uh, area of storage whereas pointer you can have a no pointer obviously you've got to be trying be wary of no point because they can cause errors. If you want some more information, you can contact us or just uh, Google and you should be able to get some more information. Plus, once a reference is initialized to an object, it cannot be changed to refer to another object. Pointers can be pointed to another object at any given time. A reference must be initialized when it is created. Pointers, well, can be initialized at any time. That's it for pointers. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk. The email will be in the, in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly comment or directly message us via YouTube, sorry. All the recordings for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day.